All right. Finally got one here. Not a monster, but you know what? I'll take them. Little fart. <clears throat> He's cold, even though it's warm. Got him deep. I got him deep here, so there was no bite at all. It was just heavy. That's it. I'm taking a three quarter ounce. LV 500 in a chartreuse shad because of the cover, low light conditions, and I'm just letting it hit the bottom. I'm about 20 foot. I'm looking for brush piles here on Lake Weir, and all I can say is they're going to get better, bigger from here. They can't get any smaller. All right, guys, you're always just one cast away. There we go. fish on. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. It's coming up. It's coming up. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Nice one. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Feels good. You have no idea how good that feels, baby. He's got a gill. Get him out. All right. Cool. There we go. Nice one. I'm going to give him about uh, three pounds. About three pounds. All right. That feels good. All right. Let him go. There we go. Gotcha, huh? All right. Remember, you just one cast away. There he is. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Oh, oh, darn. Whoa. Well, they're, we're bumping it. They're bumping it. Bump, bump, bump. And then he loaded up. Ah, darn. Who knows what that was? Well, we're gonna make another cast here because you're always just one cast away. got him good it's amazing how you get the little ones really good and the big ones come off my life story you guys know what I'm talking about all right these fish are really cold <clears throat> it is winter time but it's as you can tell shorts weather and he was just there so I'm around some fish let's see if I can find some bigger ones gotcha all right
And that is how you save your baits. All right, well, I'm gonna call it a day here. Gotta drive back to the beach. Had a great time fishing here in Lake Weir. Um, I think one of the keys was I made a great guy named David. He kind of showed me some um, brush piles out here. Um, caught, I think, four fish in total. Lost one. And um, I'm throwing here a lipless crankbait. It's a three-quarter ounce size. It's called a Lucky Craft um, LV500. Um, but I also lost three of these. Some of you are going, wow, lost some money. Yeah, absolutely. Um, these brush piles are non-forgiving. Um, I also threw my River to Sea 168 S waiver. Got one bite on that. Um, didn't didn't hook them. Didn't feel it. I like throwing that too, and that was around weeds and a point. So, but getting back to the um, lipless crankbait. You know this is this is a killer bait especially if you've got a lake full of shad and and from what I've seen and what I was told by David um, there's some shad in here so the smaller ones ate it it just got heavy uh, that big one um, I caught a three pounder you see that you saw and that three pounder was basically um, uh, just tick 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 ate it okay the one that I lost, same thing. A tick um, came back and ticked it about three more times, and then and then it loaded up. So, but he obviously wasn't hooked that well. So, what what do I do? I let it hit the bottom, and then I do about then I put the rod tip towards the water, and this works best in about my ideal is eight to twelve foot. I'm fishing twenty foot, so but I put the rod tip in the water and just kind of sweep it six inches six inch sweep reel you know let the slack up and you'll feel that tick or or it loads up uh, hope that helps you gonna head back to the beach guys remember you're always just one cast away and remember if you get a chance hit like um, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel hit subscribe we got some great great um, fishing um, merchandise check that out too while you can matter of fact take a look at this you know, I'm still looking for a friend who can outfish me or this one. Be a hero and find your own fish. All right, we got so many of them, it's great. All right, guys, remember you are just one cast away.